land of thunderclap. <laughs>
Ages ago, Jinjanzu and I were peers. Ever questioned with goodwill, he was. His nature made him question the supremacy of us beyond mortal woe and grief. He deemed all souls could be akin to us. Why then do we tower whilst others merely kneel and offer? He asked. I told him the others are less than us. His misstep cast him back into the endless cycle. Reborn, he drew three disciples. But what did they change? One ended up a corpse, others fugitives. He too took to the shadows. <laughs> Pathetic. Those journeyers have misplaced their worship. Why bet on the Sutra, when one oneself can be a Buddha? Kneel before the Buddha of the future. Why not yield and join my disciples? <laughs> Oh, my God. 
My sack awaits misguided souls like you. Enter with it and find enlightenment. Trickster called you too. This wicked sack is much more vicious than before, nurturing such evilness. Yellowbrow must have woven Wukong's strength into it. That bastard. Join me. Let's fight our way. I Thou shalt kill. Thou shalt 
kill it. Do it. <laughs>
fight and sound together. Now rogue stole my seed sack and fled here. With Wukong's relic, he made it a soul-snatching vessel. He also took my look and my name to trick his old foes into vengeance. Hmm. Yeah, you pot belly. I should have figured out it was you. <laughs> <laughs> Forgive my little deception. Stolen once, I buy it. Stolen twice, I doubt it. <laughs> Your doubt is fair. I shouldn't have underestimated his nerve. I meant to subdue him myself, but you two were swifter. Fortune favors you, Bajie. But I see great potential in this young one. He might just be... Hmm? The right monkey. Enough of this empty talk! I don't care if Yellowbrow drowns in the lake. We can't have Wukong's relic sink with him! <laughs> For that, pray, <sighs> lend me that break of yours.
in the mortal world for a good while, didn't you? Speak clearly. Once again, I proved it to you, Jin Shan Tzu. You chose a means to an end, not to a proof. You sow chaos in hearts just for the sake of winning. How absurd and pathetic. <laughs> if not for winning, why debate over means and ends? That stone monkey merely named himself a sage, yet this altar boy dared to found his own faith and proclaim himself Buddha. Your faith is firm and will unwavering. You resisted his lures. All those who were high and mighty found their minds lost and their faith stained. But was it truly because of their devotion to Yellowbrow? <laughs> As you braved ice and snow, did the stench of shattered ego reach your nose? My friend, not gold. Gold, my ass. My bones are cracking from lugging this load. Step it up. I gotta catch that feast on time. <laughs> Hear me out. They say that hag has a quirky ways. Each season she'd wed a mate and devour him. <laughs> Once our lady brought her a wedding gift, a mirror. The past echo. Which? The past echo. The lady often speaks of it with regrets. I wonder why. Let me finish, will you? The hag got the mirror and looked into it, and for no reason at all, she threw it away. That soured our lady's mood. She stopped visiting since then. Gibbering and jabbering. Couldn't even catch a wink of sleep this whole time. What? Who's in 
You come down and join us. <laughs> hmm. Leaving so soon? Why the shyness? 